Hello my friends and welcome back, Vincent here. I'm delighted to have you back for this video. So recently I wrote my second demo for Vienna Symphonic Library with a new approach. I tried to get away from the neoclassical film music context, which is precisely what the VSL instruments are designed for and very well at that. To go more towards the pop song context, almost almost Disney, right? And see if VSL can handle this new genre. Spoiler, it does, and very well at that. So today I am going to show you my recipe, we're going to talk about songwriting, musical construction, composing in layers, you'll see, it's gonna be fun. A word of advice though, I'm going to try to be as concise as possible, and you know me, I'm very chatty. So I recommend that you have a small piece of paper and a pencil with you, or if you're watching this on the move, that you take some screenshot. All set? We good? We're good. We're going to start with the foundations of any piece of music, the rhythm. And oh boy, with all the percussion instruments VSL has, believe me, we're in for a treat. So that's exactly what I did. The rhythmic foundations are made by the synchron power drums. And if you're not comfortable playing the drum part directly on your keyboard, or if you don't feel like getting tired, or if you suck at rhythm, like this guy. The MIDI loops that come with the power drums are really handy. Inside your synchron player, you have a sub program, the MIDI loop player, which already contains all the MIDI loops that VSL has made for you. I've taken the anesthetic, the tempo is 110 BPM, the tempo of my song is 116 BPM, so that's fine. All you have to do is to drag and drop the MIDI loops directly into the project. Really does take 10 seconds. I wanted to make rhythmic overlays, polyrhythms, so I want to have drums one and three, left and right, do the same rhythm to give us a big, wide, punchy sound, and drum two, the middle one, will do a slightly different rhythm. For drums one and three, I will choose a very specific mix preset in place Parallel Comp River, selected like this, yeah. So we have the feedback from Synchron Stage A, which gives fullness to the sound. And for the Drum Kit 2, I select the In Place Parallel Comp preset without the reverb. I'll start playing with the loops. Here I'm gonna put the V1 on all the drums. Then afterwards, to set up the polyrhythms we talked about, I'm gonna change the loop on Drum Kit Two, selecting V2. I'll do the same afterwards with drum one and three doing loop V2 while the drum in the center does loop V3. And creating grooves and polyrhythms becomes really easy, especially if you suck at rhythm. To add size to that wall of percussion I want, I'm using the monster drums from BBO Dorado, one of my favorite BBOs, by the way. I'm gonna play single hits and rolls using the wide surround to stereo preset, again to add width. Oh yes, <laughs> and I recorded myself clapping my hands, you know, to make it sound more pop, more indie, you know? So I did a few takes, overlaid them to give the illusion that there was a group of people clapping and put it all in Mir Pro 3D Synchron Stage Vienna. I also used the free small percussion, which I really like because they're free for the shakers, the kashishi and the triangle. Let's just say it's small rhythm that adds life to the big rhythm. To reinforce the second and fourth beats, I use the Synchron Drums 3 snare ensemble. I also use cymbal rolls from Synchron Percussion to add emphasis, and more sporadically the tam-tam and low bells and pianos that you'll find in Synchron Bells 3 or in BBO Fornax. Mm -hmm. 
I use them to bring bass. And speaking of bass, we have the cellos and double basses in octave from Synchron Elite Strings, which both support the rhythm with biting staccato and add a bass line. We start to move away from purely rhythmic instruments and gradually move into the melodic category. Here's the marimba from Synchron Mallet 3. I love its timbre, both colorful and witty, without being as aggressive as the xylophone, for example. So then, the guitars. <laughs> We're really getting into the realms of harmonic fellow here. In pop Disney music, it's a must have. And surprise, surprise, VSL got us covered with the concert guitars from synchronized plucked instrument. Here I used two that I drastically panned right and left because the aim was to get a guitar sound that was more pop than classical. And in fact, these guitars start out as real percussion instruments as they are using muffled muted chords. And then I switch them over a more conventional way of playing, but still assisting the rhythm section. Now let's talk finally about the melody. My initial idea was to use the choirs of synchronized Vienna choir, but after some thought, Paul said, and why not with a children's choir? Thank goodness for Bibio Aymir. Only I wanted to be even more realistic, so I asked someone for help. Rema, my wife, who's also a concert pianist, chamber musician, businesswoman, choral singer and choir conductor. She kindly agreed to give us some of her time in the studio to record the melody line of the children's choir with her voice. I then run her voice through Mir Pro 3D in the Synchron Stage Vienna. To highlight the new element, it's a trick she suggested me, we are going to radically lighten the accompaniment, which is why, as you can see, when the voices come in, I'm only going to accompany them with the bare minimum. This will make the return of the wall of percussion just after all the more powerful. Still on the subject of melody, as someone who loves contrapuntal music, I've added a number of instruments to create a counterpoint. The first to come on stage is the French horn once solo by Synchron Brass, and no, I'm not gonna make the same joke again. followed by three trombones, one from Synchron Brass and two from Synchronized Dimension Brass, who come in for a bit of a filler. I couldn't do a Disney pop song without involving my own instrument. Hey, what I can say, all a bit die hard. So I called in my good old Synchron Piano Steinway D274, the first VSL instrument I ever bought. <laughs> I'm nostalgic now, which I said to the pop preset beforehand, just goes to the show. It was meant to be. So I preferred Elton John to Liszt and that's what I got. So of course you'll tell me that repeating the same MIDI segment over and over again gets tiresome, and I agree. Which is why, here, in the middle, using the piano, I've changed the chord progression. I 
I've also added a new instrument for my counterpoint, by the way. So please reserve a round of applause for the violins one and two in octaves from Synchron Elite Strings. Them again! <laughs> And finally, as we near the end, I bring back the melody like a joyful anthem and there are even some newcomers to the party. Horns of Bibio Jupiter, that name is so classy. <laughs> Some trumpets from Synchron Brass. The free harp glissando. Once again, when it's free, it's really cool. The bell tree from Synchron's Bell Tree. Haha. <laughs> Then the end comes, and I wanted to leave a moment of suspense before building to a joyful crescendo in F major with the free violin runs still free. And the chords from Bibio Ganymede Choir. Then of course I do a bit of special effect using Bibio Andromeda to make a few chords that fill out the harmony even more. And less usual, but which sounds great nonetheless, a few notes from the Vienna Smart Hits, this reinforces the width of the rhythmic bass. And that's it! Now you know everything, your turn, show me your miracles! Thank you my friends for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, feel free to leave a like, share the video, follow the various VSL socials, their Facebook, their Instagram. I hear they've got a nice forum on their site now. And don't hesitate to sign up for their newsletter, check out the news section of their website, sometimes they have really nice deals. That's it for me, see you next time. In the meantime, take care and keep making great music. Ciao. So, a bit of context. Lately in my life, many good things happened and I feel blessed and lucky. Of course, being noticed by VSL, working with them, creating content for them is one of those things, but it's not the one thing I wanted to share with you guys now. Two weeks ago, my wife and I, we went abroad for a weekend and in the airport, I unfortunately lost my wedding ring. So as you can understand, we were super sad, super upset, and really we weren't rooting for having back, you know, such a small thing, falling inside the gears of a machine, like chances were close to none to have it back. But nonetheless, I wrote an email to the lost object service of the airport, just in case. And after the weekend, on a Monday, I got an email saying that they found the ring back. What are the odds? So I drove there, got it back and driving back home i was thinking man you are so lucky there are so many good things happening to you so many miracles happening and i stopped there and i thought miracles huh this is just a, a piece of thought from me to you and i really want to to cheer you up with this have faith on life good things happen any now and then and i want to wish you guys all the best and to keep being high on life cheers <laughs>